Hello friends, welcome to another important topic of this course which is called Special Strategy and I am going to deal with it. My name is Haryom Padel. So what is the normal strategy which you should follow to study biology? So the normal is that you attend the classes regularly because most of the biology is to be understood and is to be memorized, is to be learned in the class itself. This is not a subject to be studied at home completely. Okay, so the very first step in studying biology is attending the classes. You have to attend either the school classes or better would be if you go to a coaching or more better, much better. If you use the unacademy videos, there are many good educators, the toppers of their own field or other internet videos. If you find them to be reliable and good sources, again, just don't go for watching any videos which are not reliable. First of all, check the source because many wrong information can be sent into, into your heads, which will harm you. Okay. So once you're done with the class, you come back to home please prepare the notes in the class you come back to home then read all those notes it will hardly take half an hour to revise those two hours of the class okay so revise those notes then read ncrt book then if you have some other book or i don't think there is a need to read some other book if you want and if you find the topic to be interesting and you, any curiosity if you have then you can go for some other book also otherwise there's no need so read that book okay it's done then if you want and you have time then you can solve some questions from the books which I am going to mention in the next video or now what can, can you do this the biology is done for the day then go for the other subjects then again the next day revise this whole this notes these notes revise again okay so one day then after three to four days again revise then a week after a week then again revise then after a month again revise just don't do this that if you do if you read the chapter first chapter now and after um, after two three months when a uh, four or five chapters are over and in the intermittent time you don't study it at all no if you do it that way then you will forget everything so keep on revising the things because biology is mm, not like physics that you just have to solve the numericals you just uh, can revise them uh, you can just uh, revise out those formulas and you'll be able to solve because the concepts are there in your head but biology is the subject of information and information we tend to forget it is very volatile subject okay so there's another special strategy which i used which is that take a small notebook not the a4 size one or 200 page long okay take that divide it into two parts from the uh, two parts okay name first part as certification and the second part as concepts so what are you going to do that find the problems search the problems of your life which are because of the subject search the problems which biology has created you know if i tell you about myself uh, just before six months of my examination which i st um, when i start solving the questions uh, question papers the full length question papers so out of 80 I never used to get above 50 correctly I mean the condition was pathetic and I was unaware of that for the first one and a half year I kept on fooling myself saying that I know biology I know biology I know biology but when I started solving question papers and I realized I don't know then I used this strategy because the problem was that though I studied it several times, but I was not able to retain the information. And that retention was made possible by this small notebook. So what I did that whatever thing troubled me, whatever question was there, which I was making in wrong every time in the questions, I used to write in that. Okay. And whatever the facts were there, those um, I was not able to memorize like the uh, applications of the, those microbes or the examples of morphology or the examples or anything of taxonomy or the uh, functions of minerals everything i used to write in this notebook 
very concisely very precisely you have to write in this okay and in the concepts part you can write the concepts which are very very important or the concepts which you find in some uh, during uh, solving some questions which you see uh, you find that these are new and these are important and come in examination or some concepts which are from the ncrt book and very very important and you tend to forget them again and again so write those things here so simply write everything which troubles you whatever troubles you write that there and revise this notebook repeatedly if you revise it re every day then there can be nothing better than that just revise it every day if you cannot then in two days or three days just revise it revise it revise it so if you revise it continuously for some time then you'll find that you have come above those all mistakes those things will not trouble you anymore so when tomorrow your final examination if they suppose tomorrow is your final examination and today you want to revise the whole biology then you just open this notebook and revise because you know that everything you know other than this what are or what all the problems were those all in, are in this small book so you can revise them in just a short period of time okay i used this strategy before every examination and you know it created wonders means it is absolutely very very good strategy please 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 just apply it this is my personal suggestion to you then other tips discuss the things with your friends on um, explain what you learn to the friends those who don't get it because it will benefit that friend and more than that it will benefit yourself because you'll retain it more clearly then use flow charts and diagrams and notes and the graphs also so that it helps you in better learning and better memorization okay thank you